In the rich and intricate tapestry of biblical narratives, the figure of Abaddon, or Apollyon, surfaces as one of the most enigmatic and debated characters within the pages of the Book of Revelation. His brief but compelling mention in Revelation 9-11 has sparked extensive theological discussions throughout history, prompting a deep exploration of the precise identity and significance of this ominous being. Venturing into the perspectives of various influential theologians, we encounter Origen of Alexandria, a prominent church father from the third century. Origen attributes the name Abaddon to its Hebrew meaning, destroyer boldly asserting that Abaddon represents none other than Satan himself. According to Origen, Abaddon serves as the chief ruler over unleashed demonic hordes from the abyss. This interpretation, linking Abaddon directly to the devil, gained traction over centuries and influenced subsequent theological thought. William Barclay, renowned for his insightful New Testament commentaries, adds a layer of depth to the discussion by connecting Abaddon to the Hebrew concept of the place of the dead. For Barclay, Abaddon represents the Angel of the Abyss, the Angel of Deeth, Satan, in his most destructive manifestation. Thus, he aligns Abaddon unequivocally with the devil in his role as a harbinger of destruction. The connection between Abaddon and Satan is thus reinforced, presenting a consistent thread in the theological tapestry. Albert Barnes, a stalwart Reformed theologian whose works are referenced widely among evangelical scholars, reinforces this perspective, dogmatically stating that Abaddon refers unmistakably to Satan. According to Barnes, Abaddon is the supreme leader of hell and the commander of demonic hosts. He interprets the Hebrew meaning of Abaddon, signifying total destruction, as aligning perfectly with Satan's nature, as the instigator of sin suffering, and death. Adam Clark, another esteemed biblical scholar known for his insightful commentaries, concurs with this perspective. Clark declares that Abaddon, along with its Greek equivalent Apollyon, points unmistakably to the destroyer, Satan. Throughout Christian history, many theologians of considerable repute have directly linked Abaddon Apollyon to Lucifer, identifying this figure as the devil himself. However, not all perspectives align with this interpretation. Craig Coaster and Robert Mounts present alternative views, suggesting that Abaddon might represent a powerful angel or demon prince rather than Satan directly. Coaster proposes Abaddon as a potent demonic subordinate ruling over the unleashed infernal forces. Mounts, while acknowledging the destructive connotation of the name, distinguishes Abaddon as the Angel of the Abyss, a high-ranking demonic leader, but not the supreme ruler of darkness. Gregory Beale introduces a nuanced perspective, viewing Abaddon as symbolic not only of Satan, but also of the Abyss itself, the source of demonic powers. In this interpretation, Abaddon represents both the supreme leader and the malevolent realm of chaos and death adding a more comprehensive layer of meaning to the character. Regardless of the specific identity, the consensus among biblical scholars is that Abaddon Apollyon embodies radical evil, destruction, and demonic forces in opposition to God. This figure symbolizes the death that Satan brings through sin and suffering. A balanced viewpoint comes from George Ladd, a respected theologian who acknowledges the possibility of Abaddon referring to both Satan and a powerful demon. Ladd emphasizes that evil finds its personal origin in a fallen angelic being named Lucifer, who now opposes God. Whether Abaddon is Satan himself or a principal demonic entity, the undeniable truth remains. Abaddon Apollyon represents cosmic evil unleashed against God's creation and his church. This figure symbolizes dark forces attempting to prevail over the divine order of life, fullness, and light. However, the apocalypse assures believers that Christ already triumphed over the devil and his demonic host on the cross, and their actions are limited by God's sovereign purpose. Christ, the Lamb of God, will ultimately reign over renewed creation, wiping away every tear and eliminating every curse. The redeemed will dwell in a promised land, 
enjoying an era of peace and endless fulfillment. Thus, believers are encouraged not to fear the devil or any evil spirits, for their power is limited and fleeting. Despite the intensification of sin and darkness in the present world, Christ has secured eternal victory for himself and those who trust in him. The message of hope and comfort must be proclaimed to a world plagued by suffering, declaring that Christ has already triumphed and the gates of Hades will never prevail against his church. Remaining faithful until the end, believers can trust in Christ's promise to put an end to sin, suffering, and the influence of Abaddon, Apollyon. A new heaven and a new earth will be established, where only righteousness will dwell. The Almighty God will wipe away every tear and death will be no more. No more mourning, crying, or pain, for the former things have passed away. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus, come soon. Expanding further on this exploration of Abaddon and Apollyon requires delving into the broader biblical context, historical interpretations, and the symbolic significance attributed to these figures. The book of Revelation, often regarded as a challenging and symbolic text, requires careful consideration of its apocalyptic language and imagery. To comprehend the role and significance of Abaddon, Apollyon, one must delve into the broader narrative of Revelation and its overarching themes. The apocalyptic genre, characterized by vivid symbolism and visionary imagery, often challenges interpreters to unravel its layers of meaning. In Revelation, the unveiling of divine mysteries unfolds through a series of visions, each revealing crucial aspects of God's plan for redemption, judgment, and the ultimate establishment of His kingdom. The mention of Abaddon Apollyon in Revelation 9-11 occurs within the context of the fifth trumpet judgment. As the trumpets are sounded, Various catastrophic events unfold, signaling divine judgments upon the earth. The imagery includes locusts with scorpion-like tails, inflicting torment on those who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. The locusts are under the command of the Angel of the Abyss, identified as Abaddon in Hebrew and Apollyon in Greek. Understanding this passage involves navigating the symbolism of the locusts, the abyss, and the identity of the angelic figure. Interpreters grapple with questions such as whether the locusts represent literal creatures, symbolic manifestations of spiritual forces, or a combination of both. The abyss, as the dwelling place of the unleashed forces, adds another layer of complexity, requiring consideration of its symbolic and theological implications. Theological perspectives on the nature of angelic beings, particularly those associated with judgment, vary across traditions. Some interpret Abaddon Apollyon as a specific demonic entity, while others view it as a symbolic representation of destructive forces allowed by divine sovereignty. The tension between divine control and the agency of malevolent beings prompts discussions on theodicy, exploring the coexistence of God's goodness and the presence of evil in the world. Historical interpretations of Abaddon, Apollyon, offer a glimpse into the evolving understanding of this figure within Christian traditions. Early church fathers, such as Origen, Augustine, and Jerome, contributed to the development of theological frameworks that influenced subsequent generations. The allegorical and symbolic approaches employed by these early interpreters set the stage for diverse perspectives on the nature of evil, the role of Satan, and the unfolding of eschatological events. The Reformation era brought about new debates and perspectives on biblical interpretation, with reformers like John Calvin and Martin Luther offering insights into the symbolic and prophetic dimensions of Revelation. The diversity of interpretations within Protestantism reflects the ongoing dialogue on apocalyptic literature and its relevance to the church and believers. Exploring the symbolic significance of Abaddon, Apollyon, requires a nuanced examination of biblical imagery and its cultural context. In ancient Near Eastern and Jewish thought, abyssal depths often symbolized chaos, disorder, and the primeval forces restrained by divine power. The abyss as a metaphorical space reinforces the idea of unleashed destructive forces 
challenging the established order. The name Abaddon, with its Hebrew meaning of destruction or place of destruction, resonates with the broader biblical narrative of judgment and divine retribution. The linguistic and cultural nuances embedded in the name contribute to the layered symbolism of this figure. Apollyon, the Greek equivalent of Abaddon, also carries connotations of destruction and ruin. The linguistic transition from Hebrew to Greek adds layers of interpretation, considering the cultural and theological contexts of both language traditions. The symbolic significance of Abaddon Apollyon extends beyond its immediate narrative in Revelation, resonating with broader theological themes in Scripture. The portrayal of a malevolent angelic figure wielding destructive power invites reflection on the nature of evil, the limits of divine permission, and the ultimate triumph of God's sovereignty. The tension between divine sovereignty and the agency of evil beings has been a theological quandary throughout Christian history. The existence of a figure like Abaddon Apollyon allowed to unleash destructive forces within the framework of divine judgment raises profound questions about theodicy, the reconciliation of God's goodness with the presence of evil. The book of Revelation, with its intricate tapestry of symbols and visions, invites readers to engage in theological reflection and contemplation. The apocalyptic genre, while challenging to interpret, serves as a powerful literary form to convey profound truths about God's plan for redemption, the unfolding of history, and the ultimate victory of good over evil. The thematic threads woven through Revelation include the cosmic conflict between the forces of light and darkness, the final judgment of all creation, and the establishment of God's eternal kingdom. Abaddon Apollyon emerges as a symbolic embodiment of the destructive forces aligned against God's redemptive purposes. The exploration of Abaddon Apollyon also prompts consideration of eschatological themes, the study of end times, the imagery of unleashed forces, divine judgments, and the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom contributes to eschatological discussions within Christian theology. Different theological traditions offer varied perspectives on the timing and nature of these eschatological events, adding layers of complexity to the interpretation of Revelation. Delving into the significance of Abaddon, Apollyon, requires an exploration of the broader biblical narrative regarding Satan and demonic forces. The biblical portrayal of Satan as a fallen angel, a deceiver, and an adversary of God sets the backdrop for understanding figures like Abaddon within the cosmic drama of redemption. Satan's rebellion against God, depicted in passages like Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28, provides insights into the origin of evil and the nature of cosmic opposition to divine authority. The New Testament further develops the narrative portraying Satan as the tempter in the Garden of Eden, the accuser of believers, and the defeated adversary conquered by Christ on the cross. The connection between Abaddon, Apollyon, and Satan, as articulated by various theologians throughout history, aligns with this broader biblical narrative. The symbolic representation of destructive forces under the command of an angelic figure resonates with the biblical portrayal of Satan's malevolent influence in the world. A nuanced exploration of Abaddon, Apollyon, invites theological reflection on the nature of evil, theodicy, and the ultimate victory of God's kingdom. The dynamic interplay between divine sovereignty and the agency of malevolent beings raises questions about God's governance, of the universe, the limits of human understanding, and the mystery of divine providence. The thematic richness of Revelation, encapsulated in the portrayal of Abaddon Apollyon, underscores the importance of engaging with Scripture with humility, reverence, and a recognition of the depth of its symbolic language. The apocalyptic genre, while challenging, serves as a powerful vehicle for conveying profound truths about God's redemptive plan, the cosmic conflict between good and evil, and the hope of ultimate restoration. As believers navigate the complexities of biblical interpretation, the significance of figures like Abaddon Apollyon 
extends beyond academic discourse to inform and shape their understanding of the cosmic drama unfolding in the pages of scripture. The spiritual journey involves grappling with the mysteries of God's plan, finding solace in the promises of Christ's ultimate victory, and living in hopeful anticipation of the day when every tear will be wiped away and death will be no more. In conclusion, the exploration of Abaddon Apollyon within the context of Revelation invites believers into a deeper engagement with the complexities of biblical interpretation, theological reflection, and the profound truths embedded in the apocalyptic genre. The symbolic richness of this figure contributes to the broader narrative of redemption, eschatology, and the cosmic conflict between the forces of light and darkness. As believers navigate the intricate tapestry of Revelation, they are beckoned to approach Scripture with humility, reverence, and a recognition of the transformative power of its truths in shaping their understanding of God's plan for creation and the ultimate triumph of His kingdom.